Hi YouTube, StuDogQ, welcome back to some more low rated duelist. So we have Stewie Boss here. Yes, a guy who apparently copied my name, so we're gonna be seeing how pro he is. Says you go first or me? Ah, uh, that is not a legitimate sentence, I'm sorry man. So I guess he went first but decided to draw the extra cards, so congratulations. He has a 60 card deck, 12 in the extra deck. Last time I checked, this guy was at 95 rating and was 0 and 6. So hopefully he can get his first win on his Deanna account. He's doing a match here, so that's why it's at 100-0. And we also have Foscomistus, whatever that's supposed to mean, 115. Has a 47 card deck along with 8 in the extra deck, so. Let's see, let's see. We already got to see one cheating. Got a little bit of cheating action here. Just, come on Stewie, you, you, can, you can win this. It's gonna play Fusion Sage and then set a monster. So I really don't see the point of playing this right off the bat, but I mean, I guess it's a deck thin. But I mean, you're playing a 60 card deck, I don't think one little deck thin is gonna do that much. So let's see what Fosco missed, or whatever this guy. I'm just gonna call him Fosco. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what he's playing here. Both were too lazy to type in 15, you know. Cards for the extra deck. They were they were, they weren't lazy enough to to make an extra deck, but they just couldn't finish it. Is it was just too hard, too much of a challenge to finish the extra deck. Like I mean, once you start, it's pretty easy just to keep on going. But apparently not for these guys here. So he's gonna set a monster, and then end his turn. Wow, so very very anticlimactic turns by both of these guys here. Hopefully they can pick up the pace and do something do something fun here. They're playing at terrible paces. Like come on, come on, Stewie. Your turn, draw the card, not that hard. Okay, so Foco or Fosoko <laughs> I just call him Photo, because that's what that's what it looks like. So Photo says he's lagging. It's Stewie's turn here and he's going to draw the card and hopefully commit to a play. That would be awesome. I'd actually like to see some action here rather than sitting here staring at Yu-Gi-Oh card backs of Dueling Network. No, it's just going to end. Congratulations. Hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you're enjoying so much. So, back to Photo's turn. He says... Uh, Stewie says... Eight! No problem. So, he spelled eight like the cool kids. Like, if I type in the watcher's chat right here... Like, last time I checked, eight was spelled... A I G H T, but he was like A I T E, because that's what the cool kids do. I, I see you, Stewie. So here is a Drek Monoloaf. So has not been the first time we've seen this guy on Low Rated Duelist. Just some cool, uh, some cool artwork, and just a mediocre effect. It's just a generic tuner, but I mean, for a direct deck, I guess it's not the worst. But anyway, there goes bye bye to a hero kid. And that actually does absolutely nothing, so I mean, maybe you have a soul charge or something, so you can special this back and then use its effect, but I mean, really does not seem that worth it at all. So I'm back to Stewie's turn. None of these guys are playing back row, surprisingly. Because I mean, traps and back row, you know, spells and traps, I mean, are really good. You know, spells, the most powerful, you know, card type in the entire game. As you can see, most of the majority of the cards on the ban list are spells, and how, you know, it just takes no cost, you just play them. But whatever, I guess these guys are too pro for him. So Stewie gonna set another monster here. Hmm. Again, doesn't seem that much... that much worth it. Ooh, here's another Jirak Monolith, so... We could see maybe an Exceed of a Ghost Trick card. He could flip summon that monster, try to go for some Synchro Shogun's. I really don't know what he's gonna do. No, he's just gonna sit here. Okay, hurry up. Okay, he's going to battle phase. Attack of the monster. And another freaking hero kid. So much for these 60 card decks actually, you know, shuffling. Now, you play a 60 card deck, and yet you get multiples of a whole bunch of cards. So, anyway, I have absolutely no idea what deck you're playing here, because, I mean, just... Hero Kid Turbo is not that good, or it's not a deck the last time I checked, and if you want it to become a deck, it's definitely not a good deck. So, again, we see no traps by Photo here. 
Maybe some invisible ones. Maybe some hand traps, maybe. Could have some Veilers, Maxis. Some Fire Honests. Oh, wait, that's not out yet. Oh, no. So, we just see a set spell or trap here by Stewie, and he just ends his turn. Like, personally, I think he should get a better deck, because, I mean, this is just pathetic here. I mean, let's see. How long is this video at? We're already at the five-minute mark, and we literally just have seen absolutely nothing except two hero kids by Stewie. Like, seriously? That's that's how you're gonna use my name? Just some mediocre deck? Okay. So, Photo's turn. He's viewing that extra deck, so maybe he could exceed right now. He only has eight in the extra deck. I mean, if he's playing Ghost Trick all card, wouldn't it be the worst of ideas? If he's playing any other rank threes like Zen Mains or Engineer, I mean, wouldn't it be the worst? I don't know. So he's still thinking. Still thinking. Still thinking. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. Oh no, he's gonna. He's gonna synchro summon with two. No, no. Okay, for for a second there, I thought he was gonna synchro summon with two tuners. I was about to lose my marbles, everyone. No, he's gonna tribute summon him for a Jirak Tyrannus. <laughs> I really thought. I wonder how many of you guys thought that too. He was really gonna synchro summon in a with two tuners, as he was viewing the next deck for a long time, a very long time, so here is a Trek Tyrannus, what the heck does this do? Contribute a Dino, and have it gain 500 attack, this card destroys opponent's monster by battle, gains 300, I, I have absolutely no idea why you summon this. You would put in more damage if you attacked with the Monolos first, I mean, seriously, man, absolutely no idea why you did that. Okay, he's gonna roll a die here. Oh no, Stewie rolls a die for no reason. Okay, congratulations. Oh no, he rolls another die! Lands on six this time. Oh god, I gotta give you some golf claps for that. Wow, and Photo, you're too chicken to attack? Really? Sawi. Sawi bout da. What does sorry bout da mean? <laughs> you mean that? But da, the. I don't know how that makes the sentence flow, but whatever. Anyway, so Photo, he tri he was not scared to summon the Jirak Tyrannus, but he was too scared to attack. Pretty interesting. And then we see a whole bunch of back row. Whoa! Four brand new sets by Stewie here. Did not see that one coming. So, my god. He now has a loaded... A loaded set, a loaded gun full of five back row to use on him. And back to Photo's turn here. I mean, you, if you were scared to attack with the direct Tyrannus last turn, there's no way in heck you're going to be using it now. So he summons a Protop, so no fear Torrential Tribune. And he's going to attack now, so no fear Mirror Force either. Okay. So so that's how, that's how Yu-Gi-Oh works. Like, if your opponent has one back row, no, you're, you're too scared. But your opponent has five, nah, nah, no fear whatsoever. Some, somehow that makes perfect sense. So anyway, Protops is going to get in for 1700. Let's see if his Stewie's going to take it here. Any second now. Don't got none. Oh, okay. Don't, don't got... <laughs> this guy is like the pro speller. Look at this. <laughs> Ite... No problem. He spelled "ite" wrong. He said "sorry about da." Don't got none. Okay, that, that's that's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. So apparently none of those none of those back rows are doing anything for Stewie here. He takes both the attacks now. He only takes 17 from the Tyrannus, which I have absolutely no idea why that happened because it says right here it's 2,500 attack. But I mean, I guess it's too hard to read numbers these days. Okay, now he gains it back. Okay. Really don't know what's going on. Like, if, if Photo was too scared to attack with this, I just... I don't understand, because most of the time, low-rated duels are going to be playing Mirror Force and not D-Prism. I mean, I don't know. It's arguably, you know, D-Prism's, you know, better than Mirror Force in different situations. But I don't know. So here's a Monster Reincarnation. So he's going to get back one of those Hero Kids, but as we've seen earlier, none of those Hero Kids have done absolutely anything this entire tool like literally nothing 
So I really don't know what your game plan is with these guys. I just, I have absolutely no idea. Okay, he's going to set it, most likely. And then, end his turn. Congratulations. And by the way, the monster reincarnation is resolved, so I have no idea why it's just floating on the field right now. I guess it's like it's floating like the fairies. No, it's still floating, everyone. <laughs> hope, I hope you guys enjoy. So, back to Fodo's turn. Let's see what he's going to do here. You know, he has monsters. He has board presence. He just doesn't play any traps. Now, personally, if I was Photo, the first thing I would do after this match is, you know, put in 15 in the extra deck. Because you are playing tuners. You are playing level 4s. You are playing level 3. So, definitely increase your extra deck to 15. And definitely play some traps. So, here's a Sacred Sword of 7 stars. going to be banishing the ultimate Tyranno to draw a new fresh pair of cards here. And then, this monster reincarnation is still floating here magically on the field. I have absolutely no, I no idea why. Unless there's some random, continuous, continuous thing I just, I just don't see right here, but whatever. Oh, my dear God. Okay, Photo's viewing the next deck. Now, the, the Sacred Sword is resolved too, so why are these spells just randomly floating on the field? Like, come on, once a card is resolved, it goes to the graveyard. If Macrocosmos or Dark Laws on the field, it gets banished. It's not that hard. I mean, that's probably in the first chapter of the frickin' rulebook. If the rulebook even has chapters, which I don't know, because I've never read the rulebook. But we've been through this one again. <laughs> Okay, so apparently spells randomly just float on the field. Okay, congratulations. You've seen it yourself, everyone. You've seen it yourself. So, Tyrannus is going to attack over the Hero Kid, and then he's probably going to go for 1700 direct with the Proto. Okay, finally he destroys it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now the Tyrannus will be able to activate its effect and gain 300 crucial brutal attack. I mean, you have to you have to neg two to summon it, but that three hundred extra attack, ooh, that's gonna put in some work. Not really, but anyway, Stewie here apparently just has absolutely nothing, and all I gotta say, man, is just your deck is just not good. Like, come on, come on, man, just like it seems like your deck has like like absolutely no combos or anything. Okay, so he finally decides to resolve that after two turns later, so I guess it takes two turns for spells to resolve these days. He's gonna set a fifth spell on trap and then set a monster, okay. So no offense whatsoever, as you can see he is not done, you know, one life point of damage to Photo here, not one. So God, I just I would love to know what those sets are, cause just man, it just, it just seems like like your deck has like literally no win condition whatsoever. It's like you just went to DN and then found 60 random cards and put them in your deck. It's like, I, I, that might be fun and all, but at least think of a a little win condition. It doesn't even have to be the best. So, so here is a Jirak Iguanin, and here's a Dark Core, and that is not a face-up monster, so you would not be able to activate the Dark Core, unfortunately. So you have to take that back. Okay, Stewie's gonna respond with Trap Hole on the Jurak Iguan. Still, that Dark Hole is a completely illegal player. Not allowed to do that. As you can see, it says then target one face up monster. Actually, no. You, you could you could technically banish your own cards, and he's going to do that. Free neg three, guys. Free neg three. I have no idea why you did that, but. Whatever, the duel continues, so... Photo's gonna be attacking with the Jirak Tyrannus. Now, for some reason, the Trap Hole's randomly floating on the field here. I really don't know why, but... Congratulations. And, let's see, that's a... Elemental Hero Burst Renatex, so... Unfortunately, you know, as powerful as that artwork might look, it's really... Its stats are really not the best. So, hopefully we have, like, a Miracle Fusion or something here. Could go for what, like a Nova Master, I think. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. 
And let's see, this video is already at the 15 minute mark. It's been a pretty long low rate low rated duelist. I mean I'm just I'm waiting for Photo to to find a way to end this duel because I there's no way in no way in in living heck. Stewie's gonna find a way to freaking win this. I'm, I'm just saying. If he does, if he does, I'll, I'll, I'll do a giveaway. How about this? If Stewie finds a way to win this, I'll give away two boxes of World Superstars to all you guys all around the world. And just as I say that, he admits defeat. <laughs> oh, well then. So, sorry guys, you couldn't join in on the giveaway, unfortunately. My, my co-partner here apparently just cannot... And not get the job done so thank you guys for watching this about edition of low rated duels if any of you guys had any idea what you know decks stewie was playing here please leave in the comment section below and i hope you guys enjoyed so thank you guys for watching as always and until next time